Today, I wanted to share a little bit of my day-to-day -day as a software developer working from home. As we can see, the first thing I do in the morning is make my matcha. It depends. Sometimes I drink coffee with milk, latte, right? I think Americans call it a latte. Sometimes I drink my matcha. This time, I chose matcha. And then I usually don't go straight up to my office, I just stay in the kitchen drinking my beautiful matcha. Then the first thing I do in the computer after turning on the VPN is try to remember what the heck I did in the past day. As you can see, I am kind of confused because I wasn't tr I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't putting my head around the code that I wrote. But after a few tweaks here and there, I managed to understand it. And the whole morning is filled with meetings. It really depends on the day, but usually we spend a lot of time in meetings. And after working the whole morning, I'm going to make my lunch. And oops, <laughs> look at that. Okay, maybe I wasn't very smart. So I just finished lunch and now I'm going to actually so now I just finished lunch and I'm going to keep working on the component that I'm currently building. I have some videos to edit today and uh, I hope that everything goes well and I managed to do everything I have to do today because it is harder to go about my life and record it. <laughs> it's harder than I thought. Well, but that's it. I'm going to get back to work. So now it is currently 7 p.m. I am currently editing my video, which is the video that you will be seeing today. Anyways, I just got to the part where I cut my finger while I'm cooking. I don't know if I'm going to leave that on the video. Probably not because there's blood. And I'm going to finish this like in about 15 minutes because there's not a lot of footage. And I'm currently re-studying German because there was a time where I studied German and I stopped. But I have to get back to it because new project is coming soon. <laughs> then after studying German, I have to do some more study on computer science and, and see how my projects in programming are doing. I'm going to show you guys right after this. So yeah, that's about it. And let me get back to editing. I know, I'm sorry. I was going to show you guys my personal projects, but I was just so tired. I'm going to do it today because right now I'm going for a run and today I have a lot to do as well. And when I come back, I will show you the projects I'm working on. This is my first time running like outdoors. Okay, I have achieved two Two kilometers about 15 minutes i mean i don't know for for first timer i think it's pretty good i don't know if you run you tell me in the comments okay i did a really big turn here yeah well i have to get back so i just finished work and today's tuesday so this is usually the part of my day it's actually 6 p.m and this is usually the part of my day where i take a break from work like 30 minutes and I start studying, whether it's a mobile development course, some technology that I want to learn. And nowadays I have really been into data science and data analysis. So I have just started a new course on Brilliant on data science. And as always, I'm loving it. As you know, Brilliant is a current sponsor on this channel. The cool thing about Brilliant is that they add lessons every month. So there's always a new topic to learn. For example, this course that I'm taking right now, Exploring Data Visually, is a new course that they just released. They also have math, data, computer, computer science and even science courses. Data science is a field that I'm getting more and more interested in, so it's really fun to know that Brilliant has a whole course 
only dedicated on that. Also, the cool thing, if you have a hectic schedule, Brilliant has bite-sized lessons where you can learn from 10 minutes to 30 to 40 minutes. That means you can spend how much time you want on the platform learning because the courses I crafted for people who don't have much time. If you follow this channel, you know that I'm a defender of learning the basics well and exploring these topics visually make a huge difference for beginners and even for more advanced programmers. And you can start on Brilliant by checking the link in the description. Brilliant org slash aragao to get your 30 days of free trial and if you are more interested and just like me want to make brilliant a daily part of your life you will have a 20 percent off discount in their annual plan as always thank you brilliant for sponsoring this video usually in this part of the day after doing a quick lesson on brilliant i usually go check my projects and <laughs> Honestly, they are very left out right now. So here I have a checklist app and it sounds very cheesy. It is, but I was just like feeling like doing something and I saw a, a story from a Brazilian. Oh my God, it's hot. I saw from a Brazilian YouTuber and they teach programming as well. And they released a Figma file where you could, to get the prototype, that's the word I'm looking for, to get the prototype and to build the app. It's like a really easy shopping app, a uh, shopping list app. The UI is very pretty. It's like very well done. You can see that the person who did this is, and yeah, this is the project. It's in Portuguese, but I'm going to translate it for you. So yeah, basically we have a header and that header is an image. Then we have the, t the title, a shopping list, the item, the quantity, and the category. When we go here to the style guide, they uh, have a small uh, guideline for the components itself and for the colors, and it's really cool. I think it's always interesting when we stay like alert for this kind of opportunities, you know, like to build a, a, a cool project. I stop right here, as you can see the chat. Yes, I remember where I stopped. I stopped here in the check mark. I was like styling the check mark. As we can see here, the focus is not very right according to the guidelines and the Figma component. And you can see here that I did the drop down and stop, but it's not really complete. It's in React, I forgot to say, but you probably already saw it. So yeah, this is the project I'm like working on right now. Really easy project, nothing too fancy. And I was also building a virtual assistant mm, in Python. There's lots of content in the internet and it's always cool, you know, to build your portfolio aside from having the basics, the, the basic knowledge in computer science and stuff. You also do this these small projects because honestly this project that i'm doing right now like this simple shopping list app is very similar to what i'm doing currently with a design system in the company I'm, I'm currently at so technically it's not really different technically speaking of course but it's cool it's like a cool project to work with no pressure and just you know going about my life and doing what i gotta do this is, of course, in Portuguese, but I'll be linking this Figma file in the description if you just want to check it out and see who, you, you know, and if you want to try it out. And um, it seems easy, but they're actually like com uh, complex components and it has a cool logic in terms of adding to the list, removing items from the list. In this case, it's not actually, actually removing, you just have to cross it. And yeah that was a day in my life i actually cheated because it was actually two days but this is it this is what i do most of the time i work i work the whole day oh my god i am so busy no but really and of course sometimes i always write scripts for the next videos but now what i have to do is i'm going to explore data visually because i want to become a data scientist or do i anyways Thank you for watching this video and I see you in the next one.